Dear Minister Shikela, Honorable Ladies and Gentlemen, Thank you for the opportunity to address you today at this forum that fosters regional cooperation and economic ties. The EAB has been supporting the Western Balkans region for many years. Since 2009 to date, the EAB has invested almost 9.5 billion euro in the Western Balkans across all sectors, supporting the vital infrastructure and private sector development, which makes the EAB one of the largest international lenders in the region. The European Union has demonstrated its unwavering solidarity to help overcome unforeseen challenges in Europe and beyond during past years. The EAB stood ready to deliver when Europe has faced joint challenges over the past decade. During the sovereign crisis and amidst the pandemic alike, the EAB was turned into a counter-cyclical economic policy instrument so that in times of a liquidity deficit, we could restart investments on the continent. Moreover, our advisory services are another core element of the activities we have, which makes EAB different from other financial institutions. The pandemic showed that, united under Team Europe initiative, our action can be fast and broad-based, bringing global-scale impact in tackling one of the worst healthcare crises in the recent history. Now we are teaming up with the European Commission in implementing the ambitious Repower EU strategy that is going to fast-forward decarbonization of Europe and reduce dependency on Russian fossil fuels. Outside of the EU, the mandate for the EAB operation is agreed between the European Car Commission, European Parliament and the Council of EU. In May this year, we signed a new guarantee agreement with the European Commission to support up to 26.7 billion euro of EAB financial operations worldwide in sectors like clean energy, digital and transport infrastructure, health and education. More than two-thirds of this guarantee is planned for investments in enlargement and neighborhood countries. In order to strengthen our activities outside of EU, earlier this year we launched a dedicated branch, EAB Global, for operations outside of the EU. The EAB Global is our dedicated arm, which includes a shift in our operating model, notably with the reinforcement of our local presence and much more tailor-made approach. For the Western Balkans, this means more resources for financing and grants, experts on the ground fully dedicated to local projects and more partnerships together with the European Commission. This has already helped increase our support in, for key education, transport and environmental protection projects in the region. For example, we have allocated two technical assistance grants in Kosovo in, during this year for the expansion of the district heating system in Pristina and improving capacities of public universities. Along with addressing the current crisis, we have diligently continued to encourage climate, innovation and digitalization, SMEs and sustainability, which are at the heart of the EAB strategy. Green and digital transition and innovation are key drivers to have smart cities. Accelerating these initiatives will lead to more resilient and sustainable economies. We need also to ensure just transition for all by coupling up climate objectives with positive socioeconomic outcomes, preventing job losses and negative impact on most vulnerable communities. This will be done through financing, policy engagement, technical advice and knowledge sharing. Such is the case, for example, with the rehabilitation of urban transport project in Sarajevo, that is going to improve the impact on environment, the quality of public transport and everyday life for people in Sarajevo. The public sector and SMEs in particular will also need strategic support to increase their energy efficiencies and green practices, which, we, which are still not sufficiently adopted among the companies in the region of VEF member countries. Analysis show that as much as 60% of total energy saving could be achieved in the less energy intensive sector. Targeted policy measures, together with the increasing capacities and access to finance, 
are the right way forward in tackling challenges. Companies and public sector alike need massive financing support to become greener, more digitalized and innovative. To help mobilize more funds and expertise to meet all current and future challenges in our cities, we see partnerships are the right way forward. In this regard, facilitating the public-private partnerships through technical support to get the projects off the ground will also be one of our priorities. They contribute to the development of public infrastructure and services, as well as facilitate SMEs access to finance for investments in digital and green transition areas, sustainable cities and human development. They can also help bringing the current fiscal gaps for key infrastructure projects and private sector projects too. The already mentioned challenges also require innovative financial instruments. The EAB has introduced innovative credit lines with social and climate component to help companies move forward with climate and energy efficient projects and expand their workforce by employing people from, from vulnerable social groups. Speaking about partnerships and innovative financing, I would like to mention also an example, the EU for the Green Agenda in Serbia initiative. A flagship initiative implemented by the United Nations Development Programme with the financial support of the EU and in partnership with Serbia's Ministry of Environment Protection, EAB Global, the Swedish Embassy and the Government of Switzerland. 83 innovative environmental-friendly plans aiming to accelerate the green transformation, clan, climate action and job creation have been selected to receive technical and financial implementation support. The proposed ideas provide new or improved business models and technologies that will lead to more efficient use of resources and reduction and reuse of waste. Their aim is to address specific climate challenges, such as increasing the share of renewable energy sources, improving air quality and restoring forest ecosystems and green urban areas. In conclusion, I assure you that the EAB Group, together with the European Commission and our local partners, can play a decisive role in supporting you in developing smart cities and implementing your projects. Today, with you in Prague, are a few colleagues who will share more insights on how we can operate. We have a regional representation in Belgrade, local representatives in Skopje, Sarajevo and Tirana, and all of them would be glad to discuss with you possibilities for supporting you with all available advisory and financial support. Thank you for your attention.